I was sharing a story with some of the guys in Orlando before I slipped out to come this way this evening about how we ended up in Florida, how we ended up where we are. You know, every move we made growing up, every move we made was for a church. That, that was before there was a new IFB, my friend. There were dedicated people. We moved for a church. I remember we moved from Indiana to South Dakota for a church. We moved from South Dakota down to Florida, uh, St. Petersburg area, for a church. That church went kind of liberal, so my dad started saying, hey, we got to move. We, anywhere, if it was in the United States and it was somewhere where we could get to, he was like, I'll move there. We found a church. That's where we ended up in Haines City. And I remember we, we would move for a church before there was a job or a house at all. We should be preaching on Noah instead of David and Goliath, all that rain out there. And I remember, I remember we would, he moved, and so here was what it was. My dad said, hey, we're going to move to Haines City because there's a good church there, and I want to raise my kids there. And you know what? Long story short, there were seven of us growing up. We got married there. I found my wife there. We got married. I went off. I learned to be a soul winner there. I went off to be a missionary sent from there. There's a lot of repercussions of my dad's faith. But you know what? We moved there. My dad found, uh, found the church, and then after we had been there, after we found a rental place that we could live, and finally he says, you know what? I've got to get a job. You know, isn't it usually backwards? Well, if God gives me a job and if God opens the door, I'll walk through it. What about instead of by fact, how about it's by faith? Here's the nice part about it. My dad's always, he's been a hard worker. He's always worked a lower income job, whatever he could find. He didn't really have much skill or, 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 or ability to bring to the table. He's just a hard worker, a faithful man. And I remember we found that church the Lord's provided us a place to stay, and he's like, I need a job. And he said, I'm not going to eat until I find a job. He started fasting. And I remember my dad fasting and praying. He says, I know this is where God wants my family. This is the church we're going to raise our kids in. This is where God wants us. God, please, we've sought first your kingdom. Now would you please give me a job? And he began, he went out looking and applying and applying and applying and applying. Finally, on the third day, no food, praying and fasting, he gets a job from a business called Badcock Furniture, which would later be the place that he would become an owner, and now my brother's own multiple stores. Had no idea. Now, let's rewind it. Mr. Boyle, we are going to make you a business owner if you will just move to Haines City. Oh, and there's a good church, by the way. Is that how it works? No. But you know, if you look at anybody who's lived by faith, most people who won't live by faith would trade places with them. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'd, go to, I'd move my family across state if God would do what he did in Orlando. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's faith first. Oh, yeah, I would do what so-and-so did. Yeah, I would, I would serve God in the ministry. I would. No, no, you don't know how it's going to end. What if David stands up before the Philistine and David dies? What if the three Hebrew boys stand and defy the king and then they burn? What if Esther goes before the king and she says, if I perish, I perish, and then she perishes? You know, they were all willing to. Amen. They all walked by faith. Said, you know what? It doesn't have to end out in my favor. I have faith that God will get His perfect will through my death, through my life. Well, you know what? That's the financial blessing of it. But man, look at when we're getting ready to have the Boyle Family Reunion. There's going to be 40, maybe 50 people at the Boyle Family Reunion from just my mom and dad. Seven who had got married, who've now had, I have seven. There's, my siblings all have multiple children. All of them saved. All of them in church somewhere. We're going to have the Boyle get together. There's going to be no rock music, no alcohol, no swearing. No, you know what it's going to be? We're going to have hymnals and we're going to be singing. We're going to have a good time. You know what it all started? Someone by faith said, you know what? I'm going to serve God first. You say, man, I don't have that. Well, you know what you need to do? Step out by faith. You say, how do I get that? Step out by faith. Well, is God going to do it the same way? Oh, no, he doesn't do it the same way, does he? It's by faith.